how y'all doing? It's uh, fully back out of in Temple, Texas, at the UPS office, USPS office, doing a little First Amendment auditing. Hi, how you doing? So hopefully it'll kill that, take that wind out. Won't be as bad. People were saying they couldn't hear me and get a new mic, so I went and got one. And I'd like to thank uh, Clark Kirby for uh, donating and helping me out so I could uh, put down on a mic and stuff like that. I appreciate that. Broken window. Yeah, there's a whole boxes. That's the first time I've seen them like this. Let me look for the poster seven. Got a trash can blocking the door. Thank you. Well, thanks for sticking it out. I've noticed a lot of the post offices, like I went to the one in Belton again and they had music playing. So that's what they're starting to do, play music. Wait, 
Guess I need to get in line. Take my stamp. Is the lady in charge of the field box in the room? You want to go ahead of me again? No, 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 that's fine. Alright. Can you sign right there? Your like you're having fun. Name well, I'm just going around exercising my First Amendment rights. Oh. Yeah. Well, what are you? I mean, what are you? What are you? Well, uh, poster seven on the uh, in the post office says that you can record and videotape. And part of our First Amendment is to go around and videotape, and a lot of people they're not used. To, you know, we have cameras all around the post office and at stoplights, but when someone holds a camera, sometimes they flip out. And so, I'm just trying to let people know that you have a right to have a camera, uh, camera and video. That's all. Okay. Yep. You can go ahead though, sir. Oh, okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. I needed uh two things. I needed uh a one postage stamp and then also an application for a passport. Okay. Here's your application hey, for your you passport. Okay, you. okay. And you go to you go online and make, or you can go out on the kiosk and make an appointment. Okay. okay. Thank you. And you said just one stamp. Yes, ma'am. They're gonna take the card out, sir. I don't have anything for you. I looked everywhere. Okay. No problem. But uh, if you wanna. Hey, do you have any different kind of stamps, or is that the only kind you got? Well, I have only a few that I can tear apart. <laughs> All right. Well, I was just interested in. I think I already have the star one. You ain't got no Joe. You ain't got no Joe Biden Trumps. Uh, Joe Joe Biden st stamps. No, I don't have any Joe Biden. Uh, usually, those stamps is when they die. Oh. So that's when you know. Any Farrakhan stamps? Any Farrakhan stamps? Get that done. Done. That's good. Yeah. I guess you're a big fan of them. Huh? They sold out. Oh, they sold out. Oh, they do? Yes, sir. You step outside the... Well, I'm doing, uh, I'm doing, uh, we're, mask, we're doing business right now. We're, we're doing business. You need to wear a mask, sir. Uh, sir, you did need you... to leave the building. I have a... You have a sign saying you have to wear a mask. Uh, okay, I understand that, but, sir, I have, uh, I have breathing issues. Have so, I have breathing issues, so, therefore, I have, there's, uh, basically, yeah, there's, uh... We'll come outside and use it. Come outside and we can talk to you there. You got breathing issues. Wolf services... Hi. Can I get your name and a uh, complaint form, please? Oh, okay. You need help? Yeah. Uh, I can help you right over here. What's that? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. I did five of them. Six dollars. Yeah. Okay, these are the ones I can tear apart. Oh, that's nice. I like that. I got that, that one. Um, I got the love stamp. Twenty-two dollars That's Alabama. This one. She's a nuclear physicist. I I can't say her name. <laughs> um, hearts, and then uh, Gwen Eiffel and Purple Hearts. Okay. Well, I like this guy right here. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I'll take one of those. Okay. Yeah, Appreciate it. Thank you. I put these in a large flat rate. Can you just see what that would cost to ship? We're going to Texas. Okay. okay. If it's cheaper, I'll just take two, okay. two large ones back and redo them. Let me see. That, Appreciate it. Let me just verify there's nothing liquid, fragile, ah. personal, $10,000, $15,000, perfume, or mercury. So, priority so 45 mode, change. Would you like receipt, sir? Uh, yes, I would. And also, I like the complaint form That's and that right. man's name that just tried to kick me out of here for not wearing a mask. When go, uh, Texas, the governor of Texas already said that the li mandate has been lifted. But government buildings, they're required in government buildings. Oh. Or in federal buildings. So. Well, there's also, uh, you know, not everybody who has medical problems has to wear one, so. Okay. 
We're doing a survey. You can go online or use your smartphone and rate your services. Okay. okay. He's our postmaster. Okay. And his name is Louis Allen. Okay. And you go online. So you don't have any you don't have any forms on hand? No, we don't keep those. Okay. Uh, we have you go online to USPS.com. Well, well, I appreciate you being professional. Thank you. You have a wonderful day. Well, you see there, folks, they want to force the mask deal, even though they've already lifted the mandate. Go ahead, sir. So, you know, at the end of the day, I guess they're going to force that, which is an un unconstitutional thing for them to do, due to the fact that, you know, they can't cover, make you cover your face up. I don't know who that guy was. He seems a little like he's got a little attitude adjustment problem. But uh, I would say for the most part it was okay. You know, I just don't know, understand really why they worry about it that much. Uh, you know, if you want to wear a mask, you wear a mask. If you don't, you don't. I don't see the issue or the problem. To each their own. I mean, the lady was nice enough to do business with me. I mean, I guess I could have sat in there longer, but they did give me business. Um, A pass, maybe, but uh, I'm sure if I came here on a Saturday, they're more packed, there'd probably be a lot more. I mean, that guy really wanted to say something. He really wanted me out of there. But, uh, you know, post offices don't enforce law. You know, they can't make laws saying that you can't, what you can decide to wear and what you can't wear. You know, it's not privately owned.
I'm just walking through here and video. You can do it on the sidewalk. You're going to have to get out of the Alright, well, this is the pub for the public, isn't it? No, it's not. This is, this is our parking lot. Does it have any signs that say that? All right, well, I'll go check and see if it is. No parking any time does not mean that I can't be in the parking lot. So obviously she don't know what she's talking about. And I wouldn't be surprised if this guy right here and this truck was the one that had the little attitude. He's the postmaster. So let's just see. Always barking orders. They like to do that. She she just runs the post office. She doesn't run me, you know. Or that could be the guy. BMW. Who knows? I guess this is as good as passage, you know. Let's see what else we can find. look like a cop but I think it's just a black car next to a white car but uh, let's see nope that is a cop up there 